Hi, my name is L'Oreal Panky, and I'm not sure if I'm a Gen Xer or a millennial. I was born in 1978. I think I'm on the border. Um, but I've been listening to you guys, and I'm interested in looking at the websites you've referenced. I've read Tisa Silver's book already, and I'm wondering, is there a human that could kind of walk someone through it? and Or is there a body, you know, when you're having emotional troubles, people say, go see a therapist, here's a recommendation. Um, I am a lawyer. There seem to be recovering lawyers and soon-to-be lawyers in the audience. <laughs> I am actually one, and, um, you know, I'm doing well. I have kids, I have parents, I have grandparents. Um, it's not just their college tuition, but investing in them right now. I got to pay for activities so that they can be exposed to whatever and become the next whoever. Um, I'm supposed to save myself because I won't have retirement. My loans are done, thank God. Hey. But I... I I still don't know if I'm doing it right. I have been online and typed in numbers, and then I'm scared to press enter because, you know, I need somebody sitting with me. <laughs> um, and what if you need that kind of guidance? In college, you could go to your professor, but you don't have the problems yet. Middle age, I'm in it, and I don't know which direction to go. I need guidance. Well, you. you know, there are a lot of organizations that... Um, will guide you to a fee-only financial planner or financial advisor um, who can help you. And so there is an investment in working with somebody who can take a look at your financial picture and give you a sense of whether you're on the right track. If you had a knee injury, you wouldn't just self-diagnose this. You would go to a doctor. And if you had you know, someone suing you, you would hope that they would go to a lawyer um, it can make a lot of sense to go to a financial planner, a financial counselor, whether it's a stockbroker or an investment advisor. There are financial professionals that you can check in with, and there are ways to do it in a relatively low-cost way, just to get a pulse on where you are and whether you're taking the right approach. But another thing that you can do within your community is, you know, if you have a, a, a friend, a spouse, a family member that you trust who's on this journey with you together, the two of you can be financial coaches for one another, kind of like when many of us go on diets or when we train for a marathon. We do it with a friend, um, and the friend keeps us accountable. And so having that built in might be something that's helpful to you. So there might be someone in your peer group, someone in your family, someone in a church or congregation or a club that you belong to who's feeling the same way you are, and you can help support one another. And then, you know, one of the things that FINRA offers is more for older investors, but it's a helpline that we set up to help people walk through um, their account statements and, and if they've got concerns about whether they've, you know, maybe been um, uh, sold an in inappropriate product. But FINRA also offers a tool for helping people check out financial advisors, and that's called Broker Check. And so before you trust anybody, make sure that you fully vet them. One of the uh, biases that Dave Coyne talked about in the program was this halo effect, where just because you like someone, you think they're smart and competent. Don't let that halo outshine common sense. You want to make sure that if you're trusting someone with your financial information, you vetted them. You made sure that they're registered and licensed to provide that kind of advice and find out whether or not they have a history of problems. Broker check. Hey, you might want to take a look at target date retirement funds. Um, pick a date that you think you might be ready for retirement. You said you weren't going to retire, but probably you will, all right? Um, and, you know, there are, there are mutual funds out there that set a target for you. You, know, you. you set the target, and then they take care of all the decisions involved with your investing. And as you get older, those change as the... Uh, economic climate changes. They change your portfolio, uh, how it's assessed. And it, it takes your decision-making kind of out of it. But And it, it works for people. It really does. Uh, but I, I'm not sure that that was going to fit what you want to do because um, you need your own goals. All right? Maybe your goal is, I'm never going to retire. I'm just going to be a lawyer forever. All right. um, no? <laughs> All right. yeah. But take, take a look at target date funds. It, it, it makes it so much easier, I think. All right. And 
Um, I like the idea of a certified financial planner because they're actually responsible to a governing body that sets standards for continuing education and for what it takes in order for them to gain that designation. So um, they cover estate planning, retirement planning, insurance, and several other areas, and it sounds like you're concerned with all of those. So I'd recommend looking for someone possibly with that designation and vetting them to see if you know family or friends who have someone that's trustworthy. It's a lot like choosing a doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As someone you should feel comfortable with it, that when they talk to you, you understand what they're talking about. Um, that is very similar.